Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be doing something different. I don't know if you heard of the game Doomsday Last Survivor. Doomsday Last Survivor is one of the most popular zombie games out there. The game is available on multiple platforms. You can play on Android, you can play on iOS or your iPhone, and you can play on PC. Before I begin with all of the video, if you want to play the game and watch this video, I have a link down in the description if you want to download the game. There's tower defense, strategic combat, alliance, missions. You're playing with real people real time fighting zombies. Now for the sake of this video, I'm starting out as a completely new account. We have to rebuild what was lost in the zombie apocalypse. Once task 1 is complete, we now can expand and do some gameplay. Let me show you quickly a little bit of Explorer gameplay. This is the PvE part of the game where you are playing yourself versus zombies or the computer. As you guys noticed, when the heroes approach, we get some sort of special abilities. For example, I see some kind of turret here which I'm gonna be placing behind me. It seems each hero has their own thing. Let me try this one. That came from the Harley Quinn character. Seems each one of those skills also requires an amount of energy. You get the gesture, guys. We need to defend against specific waves of zombies, and the stronger our heroes, the better we perform. I noticed there are gift codes that can give you legendary heroes. For example, I'm gonna explore one I've been seeing all over YouTube, and I'm gonna give them to you in the description. Now I understand a majority of people like to play games without spending a single penny. I'm gonna give you in the description gift codes you can use. You can get a few legendary heroes early game. Also I understand if you join through my link there are certain rewards. You might get a few diamonds, I need to check. Okay, okay guys, never mind. If you download through the link in the description below, you get $200 worth of gift packs. Download the game, pick yourself a very very new state, get that $200 advantage, it's going to be legendary. Guys, this is quickly how the building and leveling up the shelter looks like. This is at level 3, this is a footage, this is not my actual base right now. You can use speed ups to boost your construction, I'm sure that $200 gift pack is gonna include tons of speed ups and you can get that early advantage. This is a bit later in the game, where you have additional buildings. You might get event buildings, for example. There's gonna be the Metal Slug event. I'm gonna be showing you on a different video. Collaborations just like the ones you're used to. Now, I can be a fan of badass heroes. Especially if they're able to bring a hero like this one. Everybody likes a character and a story. As of now, on early gameplay, we have all these heroes. Not sure what they're called here, I'm gonna go with common to be the green heroes. We have the blue rarity, which I'm assuming is rare. Obviously, the more rare the hero, the stronger and more effective they are. But that doesn't mean that blue and green are going to be useless as you guys are familiar with. This is the epic heroes. I like the creativity in the heroes, they give each hero their own background based on their persona. Each hero has their own backstory, and I'm sure when playing the game, we can see each hero, how they join us, how we unlock them. Let's move on to the legendary heroes. That's a bit more my type. No, I'm not ta I'm talking about the bike. You should know that. I ride bikes. I don't know where you're looking. Now, to be honest, guys, the graphics are great. If you notice, this is a Metal Slug 3 hero. Seems they added this hero part of a collaboration with Metal Slug 3. As I said, I'll be mentioning Metal Slug in the next video. Fighter 97, I suppose this is from a different game. I'm not familiar with this one. That's interesting. I like getting heroes based on collaborations. I'm not gonna go through each one of them. Well, except this one. This is Catherine Calamity. This is the first hero you can get, the first legendary hero, if you don't include the gift codes. Now on the top right you can see the available packs to purchase, which kind of look familiar to me. And it seems gold is the primary purchase currency. Let me share with you guys a few events in this game, which we cannot see right now on this account. But when you play you get access to some sort of events like Bounty Ground or Tower Defense. 
I'm gonna be showing you also live gameplay where you are playing with other people, how your troops interact together, fight together, and alliance-based events. Let's begin with tower defense. Just like the explorer we played earlier, you are defending your barricade, which is the area right outside your settlement. This is where your front door to your settlement. As you can see, you have three characters. Each character has their own skill. The more you spend your skill, the more that flame on the bottom drops, but it's always charging. Now I want you to take a look at this alliance. The ones in blue are your alliance mates, the ones in green are yourself. And we are being under attack by enemies. The enemies of course are in red. Notice how you can move your troops around. You are in control on where your troops go. You can tell them to go in circles, you can tell them to go behind the enemy line. This is where the best part of this game is. To me here, it looks like we're defending our territory. You know what, maybe it's actually us attacking their big base. We're trying to relocate them or remove them from this territory. They got in the way. You guys know how these survival games go. Although all these troops all are on top of each other, fighting and destroying everything, there is very minimal lag. This is a different event, something like a reservoir raid. If you see how we are moving our troops freely, we can tell them each step how it should be. And on the top right, you can see the health and the power of your troops. Obviously killing the bigger zombie in the middle is going to give us some sort of points, advantage, benefits. Get water points for our team by transporting water back to our camp commander. This is purely strategy gaming. The best part of this is it forces you to join voice calls to coordinate better together. Send the strongest in the middle, others have to sneak around, you know what to do, and attack people coming back to their base or resting. This is going to be the main reason I'm playing this game. Once the game is over, you it shows you a summary who performed best, who did not, and who can improve. Doomsday Last Survivor has a realistic spherical map, an infinite zoom for a unique view. As you guys see, you can march freely in this realistic game world. You can say goodbye to monotonous battles, as Doomsday Last Survival's battles are ever changing. Now guys, Doom's The Last Survivor is just not a game where you fight other people. You can also play in a very um, calm environment, you can play simply single player events if you don't want to fight other people or if other people are stronger than you and this is a real life thing. You don't have to be in the strongest alliance to play this game. Let me show you this type of event. This is the zombie boss event where you and your alliance create rallies, create attacks and go together to fight this zombie which spawns in the middle of your base. Other players cannot interfere. So unfortunately, it's very hard to play without an alliance. You should join an alliance, join forces together and survive, explore the world and defeat zombies. Also, if you notice, you can see some sort of buffs happening. These are the hero skills. This is what separates each hero from the other. For example, as you can see in the blue circles, this is creating some sort of buff around players near you. So you are benefiting not only yourself, you are benefiting others. And the red circle is the zombie debuffing you, making you weak. It's up to you to counter this and survive. As I mentioned, the zooming option of this game is amazing. This is a quick closer look before we move on. Now zooming in too much might be a bit of unclear. But you get the picture. Zombie bosses don't also always spawn near your base. They can spawn randomly and other people, as well as you, attack them. Like this one. This is a zombie boss. And multiple people from multiple alliances may be able to attack them. Obviously, you cannot defeat those alone. You need other people to help you. The same concept applies 
the zombie can debuff you and the more damage you cause to it as you can see it gives you gifts and things to claim i suppose you have to take your heroes around to claim those individually now in this video we only see one alliance participating i think maybe for this specific event it's only per alliance so each alliance has their own event i don't think other alliances can mix in into this one maybe i was wrong so don't forget to play to download the game through the link in the description if i see a lot of people excited about this game we can maybe create our own alliance and play together and who knows maybe you guys can join me on videos thank you for watching this far if you made it this far i am very very grateful and see you guys in the next or in part two of doomzilla survivor treasure every loaf of bread they don't come easy the last bullet <laughs> that one's coming there's the present partner <laughs> it's good Say this once. Get out of my character.